Hi, I'm Ryan, and I got my U.S. citizenship this year. I'll share with you the process to file the paperwork, how long it takes, what happens during the interview, all the way to citizenship. This video is for someone who is going to apply for U.S. citizenship and wants to know what it's like in the process. Quick background about myself. I came to the States with my parents when I was nine years old. They were able to apply and receive asylum status. Basically, seeking protection to stay in the United States. I got my green card or permanent resident status through the lottery, also known as a diversity visa, and over time became eligible to be a U.S. citizen. So to be a U.S. citizen, there are three main qualification methods. Permanent resident for five years, permanent resident for three years, and married to a U.S. citizen for three years, permanent resident and one year of military service. My qualification is permanent resident for five years. You might be able to apply 90 days early. Make sure to check the early filing calculator on the USCIS website. I'll put the link in the description of this video. USCIS is very strict on the timing. So if you are hesitant, just wait until you are fully eligible by looking at the issue date in your permanent resident card. Next is the application process. The form is the N-400 application for naturalization. I did the online version. There's also a PDF version. The application is long, 20 pages in paper form. It takes an hour or two to complete. They ask all sorts of information about your family and history. What stumped me in the questions was the selective service question. If you register, you can look up your info on this website. Also, make sure to fill out the complete travel history. I forgot to jot down an international trip and was asked during the interview, so make sure you get everything in there. Last but not least, the application fee is $725. After submitting the application, it takes one to six months to be scheduled for an interview. I got an interview scheduled within a month. My dad got his interview scheduled in three months. I heard they need the files ready at the application center, so your timing might be different. After applying, looking online is the best way to check for status updates. You can go online, log in, and you can see if they sent you any notices under documents. They will also send you an actual mail. The interview date is roughly four weeks after the interview schedule notice. If you need to reschedule your interview, it is a huge pain. My dad had to change his schedule and we could not call USCIS to change the date. We went to the office and the guard told us to mail the building a physical mail to change the schedule and it worked. So to change the schedule, you might have to send a physical mail to the USCIS application center. The next step is the interview. Before the interview, you need to study the civics test 2008 version. I'll put another link in the description outlining each of the 100 possible questions. They'll ask up to 10 questions during the interview and you need to get at least six questions right. On the day of the interview, it took me a total of three hours. I got the interview scheduled at 2.20 p.m. I got there at 2 p.m. and I had to wait until around 4.30 p.m. to get called. The interview took around 30 minutes. So yeah, it's like the DMV Come early, there's a line to get in and a line to get interviewed. During the interview, they asked me many questions like writing, citizens can vote on the tablet, test me on the civics question, ask about my job and what I do for a living, my general understanding of English, my travel history. They also asked some of the same questions in the application process. They have all of my information and confirmed it with me during the interview. The interviewer will let you know if you pass at the end of the interview. I heard 8 out of 10 people pass, so a good majority, but not all. Because my interview is so late, the ceremony is scheduled for a different date. I had to wait for a notice and come back for the oath one month later. I heard that if the interview process is early in the morning, the oath ceremony could be on the same day. At the oath ceremony, I received my naturalization certificate and I had to give up my permanent resident card. Here's my timeline from beginning to end. And in total, it took me just over three months from applying and receiving my citizenship. Your timing might be different. Now, one problem that made me nervous is that I have an international travel plan coming up in the following two months. And without my permanent resident card, I can't leave the United States without a passport. The next video will cover how to get a U.S. passport fast and my take on that experience.